Hey everybody, what's up? Today we're gonna check out a very cool product from Astropad for your M1 Mac Mini. This product is great for traveling with your M1 Mac Mini so you can use your iPad as the main display. So give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for me to show you some cool stuff and guide you through the setup process. Big thanks to Astropad for sending me their Luna display to review. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Luna display supports older Macs from 2012 and older iPad models with very low latency when compared to Apple's sidecar. It comes in this tiny box so no bulky packaging. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. Got a little quick start guide. Here's the Luna display, let's take it out. It's very small, I like the bright red color and very thin design. It's USB-C, but it's offered in different options which I'll show later. Quick size comparison, here's what it looks like next to some of my other accessories. So you can use Luna Display in these three different ways. You have Mac to iPad mode, so you can use your iPad as a second monitor. Mac to Mac mode, so you can use your Mac as a second monitor, pretty cool stuff. Then you have headless mode, which is probably the best of all. This allows you to travel with your M1 Mac mini and use your iPad as its main display if you don't have access to a regular full-size monitor. So that's a big plus for a lot of people. Luna display goes for $79. You also have the option to choose from USB-C or mini display port for whichever Mac you have. Okay, so now let's set it up. A quick thing to note, if you're using an M1 Mac mini, your monitor has to be connected by HDMI and not using the USB-C port on the back. So let's plug the Luna display into our USB-C port. Now go to lunadisplay.com slash start and you want to click the first link and download the primary app on your Mac mini. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and launch it and install it in the applications folder. Alright, so now that it's installed, let's open it up. I moved mine down here to the dock. Click open. Click setup and you want to enable this. Click Open System Preferences. Click right here and unlock the settings. Type in your password and click Unlock. Go ahead and check Luna Display. All set. Click Next. Next up, enable this. Open System Preferences. And check Luna Display. Looks good. Now click Next. And wait for this firmware to update. It takes about a minute. Once the update is complete, go ahead and click Next. You can skip this if you want. Now on your iPad, let's download the app. So go to lunadisplay.com slash app and click Next. Another cool thing is, you can use your iPad plugged directly into your Mac Mini with a USB-C cable if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection. So once you're on the website, go to step 2 and download the app on your iPad. I'm using the iPad Pro. I already have it downloaded, so let's open it up. Click I am a Luna Display Owner here at the bottom. Click OK on this pop-up. Give it a second. Once this shows up on your iPad, head over to your Mac. Go ahead and click allow. Give it a few seconds and it should switch over on your iPad. So there we go. Now it's using the iPad Pro as a second display. Pretty cool stuff. I can go ahead and pull up the dock like this. Scrolling is very smooth. 
in this box you can just click later lock the settings and close out the next one also make sure you enable retina resolution right here so now i have a dual monitor setup between my lg ultra wide monitor and my ipad pro you do not need an internet connection for this to work you just need a reliable wi-fi connection and if you don't have access to Wi-Fi, you can connect the iPad to the M1 Mac Mini using a USB-C cable. Pencil and touch support also works. Now let's use my Magic Mouse 2. As you can see, scrolling is very smooth with very low latency. You can drag and drop windows between the different displays like this, which makes it perfect for multitasking. Currently for me to drag and drop windows, I have to move them to the right of the screen. If you want to customize that, just switch the arrangement here to left. Now I can drag it to the left of the screen for them to appear on the iPad. If you want to customize it further, click customize, go to arrangement, and you can drag the iPad to any position you want it. So let's put it at the top. So if I drag it to the top of the screen, they appear on the iPad. Same thing, if I move it to the bottom, drag down and they appear. So that's pretty cool. It works perfectly as a second display with my magic mouse and magic keyboard. It also works with my Logitech Folio Touch keyboard case. The keyboard on it works perfectly. You're still able to use a trackpad to do clicks, but there's no gesture support. Let me know what you think about it so far. Let's open this and try to do some typing. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's set up headless mode. First go to security and privacy in system preferences and you want to turn off fire vault. That way you don't have to connect your Mac mini to a monitor first before using headless mode. Click turn off fire vault and type in your password. Click turn off encryption. Now we need to go back to system preferences and select users and groups. Select your user and click login options. Then unlock the settings. Type in your password. And you want to turn on automatic login for your user account. Type in your password. Now you can lock the settings and close it out. Now it's time to check out headless mode. I'll also test it outside so stay tuned for that. Here we go, this is it, completely running from the iPad Pro. My LG monitor is completely disconnected from my M1 Mac Mini. Now let's go test it outside and see how it does. Alright, so right now I'm in my backyard and my M1 Mac Mini is upstairs and I'm still connected to it, thanks to the Luna display. The Magic Mouse barely has a connection since it's using Bluetooth, it moves a tiny bit, but I could use a trackpad on my keyboard case to open apps and navigate around. So to connect to my M1 Mac Mini from this far is super impressive. I have an incredible Wi-Fi mesh system set up, so I have the best Wi-Fi connection wherever I go. You can check out that video review on my channel if you want to. As you can see, I'm able to type normally as if my Mac Mini was right next to me. Everything is very smooth thanks to the low latency. So overall, it's a great product. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at LamarMK. As always, thanks for watching, stay safe, and peace out.